everyone, today I'll be showing you how to get the Christopher Nolan look in the Finch Resolve using the Dehancer Pro plugin. So on our timeline we have three clips coming from Lisbon in Portugal. They resemble some kind of scene from um, his latest movie Tenet for example. So first things first we'll drag the answer onto our clip. There we go. And we'll put in our camera. There we go. This clip already resembles the colors quite nicely and that's something to keep in mind. If you want those colors, shoot in a way to achieve those colors. Look at his movies and recreate the environment he uses in his scenes to get those colors. It's not only the film and the color grading he uses. So the first thing we'll do is scroll down and turn off the grain for now. The grain is nice but right now it's a bit distracting. So one of the most important things for the look is to choose the 2383 film stock the film stock he uses for his films and it will give you that nice punchy contrast natural skin tones and blue shadows so now we'll drag up the color density a little bit doing this will make more saturated colors darker and less saturated colors lighter mimicking what happens in the film so for the actual film stock for in the camera we're not going to use the film they used we're going to use the kodak aero color for 125 iso You'll see it recreates the colors very nicely in my opinion. So what we're gonna do now is scroll down, turn on the grain again. We're gonna slightly decrease the amount. We're gonna decrease the resolution and we're gonna drag down the chroma to zero. We already have quite nice of a shot, but still way too grainy. So we're gonna drag the amount down even further. Right now we have this, which is a very nice shot indeed. Let's grab a nice frame. And there we go, before, after, and we already have a very good look. If we want a little bit more color in there, we can go to the Film Developer tab and drag up the color boost a little bit, just slightly. To make this shot a little bit cooler, we can use the target white to either make it warmer or cooler. We're gonna put it around 6, 0.6. So what we're gonna do now is add a little bit of bloom, just ever so slightly, we're gonna push some bloom into the shot can use mask mode but it's a bit too dark right now still I think so we'll just add some bloom amplify the effect a little bit add the impact now we go from this to this it's a little bit more bloomy actually I want to drag down the impact a little bit so it doesn't affect the shadows as much I'm gonna put up the source limiter and now we should have a decent bloom there we go I'm gonna add some halation to it for that we're gonna look for a very high contrast area like here or here we're gonna look at the shot and slightly tweak the parameters till we are happy with the results. We want a little bit warmer hue, very light halation, so barely noticeable is the idea. Let's keep it at 15, that looks pretty good. We can add some more global diffusion, lower the local diffusion and let's zoom out. It's super slight and super small detail, but it adds to the shot, you can see before after and if you look at the scope you'll see a difference as well so after that we head to the color head and <laughs> i'm so sorry and we're gonna tweak the shadows and highlights a little bit so actually we can make them colder and warmer by using this slider but before that i mean to fucking turn it on oh my god so with those we can tweak the highlights and shadows a little bit we can make the shadows warmer or cooler or the highlights warmer or cooler or the midtones warmer or cooler and some other stuff. So for now we'll make the shadows a little bit cooler, midtones a little bit warmer and the highlights definitely warmer. You want to do it ever so slightly. Go back up a little bit again and pull down the color boost again because it boosts the colors a little bit. Now we have a before and after and it already looks quite stunning in my opinion. So that was it for the tutorial. I hope you got the look you wanted to and maybe even some more knowledge of how Dehancer actually works. If you're planning to buy Dehancer make sure to use code 10. Make sure to use code 8010 at checkout for 10% off and um, I'll see you in the next one.